Okay, here we are. Just before I do my photography, I realized that uh, you guys need to see this. The bird is fully cured here. And what I'm trying to show you here is what we have done to the wings. You see the right wing here is all flared up and the left wing is not. It's a huge difference, huge difference. So first of all, as I mentioned before, the left wing, the primaries have been curved up basically with when I was taping it. That curving up helps for finishing this pose that we are achieving, we're trying to achieve. So now the primaries are curved up and dried, but the tips of the primaries are still curved down. The whole uh, wind pressure or air pressure is there, but is really not, is not complete. So all you need to do, I slowed down the video here so you can easily see what I'm doing. All you're gonna use is just hair iron. Steal your wife's or your girlfriend's hair iron or just buy yourself one just like me. So you have peace in the house. And all you have to do, slowly you're gonna have to iron the tips up with the heat. The heat, how much is it? I don't know. This uh, hair iron that I have, it has numbers on it. I don't know. It's pretty hot. It can it can hurt you when you touch it. But uh, just keep in mind that curving them up needs to be done properly. Otherwise, it's going to look really ugly, really ugly. So you don't need to do the tips only. You got to do pretty much three quarter of the length of the feather. Go a little bit higher and do it right from the top. When I was doing some eagles, it took a long time for curling them up. You just got to have a steady motion going along with the feather and curving them up. You might have to do it and come back and redo it because it, it can happen in a few different stages. It might not be possible to do it once. Just take your time and do it properly. As I said, some people just go for the last two inches of the feathers. That's not right because the wind pressure is being applied only the, on the two or, or is being only shown in the last two inches while you need to show it along the whole feather. Okay, now here I have a little bit of a slower speed for you to see the motion and the steadiness of the move and how high you need to go. Each feather I do it like multiple times till I get the shape I want and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I, I leave it alone to get cold and then I come back and see all I have created just straighten the feathers out. It's not curled up. It doesn't need to be exaggerated. Don't make it like bent way out of, out of shape. As long as with the wing position that <clears throat> you have created in the mount, you can create the same wind pressure, that would be good enough. It just adds to your mount. It, it adds a realism to your mount. So otherwise, if you don't do these things, then you're going to have a dead bird with stretched wing on the wall. I call them butterfly mounts. They're not really attractive. Even if you do the best grooming on the feathers, it's not there. So anyway, this was it guys. I hope you enjoyed the videos and if you if you like this series, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more exciting videos coming up for you. My newer videos are a lot better, but I still have some old ones that I'm going to uh, upload because there's still something to learn about every single one of those videos. Okay, thank you very much. We'll see you next week.